Hi everybody, my name is Sherry and welcome to my two. So today we're talking about my experiences at Bard College. And um, I wanted to put this video up like for when people were choosing colleges and all that. I realized that the date probably has passed by now, but for anyone who's applied and doesn't know like for sure if they'll go or not, um, I'm just here to tell you a little bit about the college. This is all based on my experiences. The college is not involved at all with this video. They don't know about it. They might possibly sue me for some reason. I don't know. As long as they don't kick me out, I'm good. <laughs> We're just gonna hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, um, this video isn't to complain about the college. is isn't, isn't to like glorify it. It's like an honest video about some of my experiences, what I think about it, the good, the bad, and the meh of Bard College. So I'm gonna start by saying I applied to Bard College for various amounts of reasons. I have my notes here just in case like I go like off the rail and end up spilling some tea that shouldn't be spilled and then I get in trouble with everyone and we're not gonna do that and it, even if we do that we're gonna take it out in editing because that's how this works hopefully oh boy but anyway I chose bar for various numbers of reasons when I was applying to college I wanted a place that was small so that it didn't have like a huge number of students it had to have a good teacher, a, like a small size teacher to student ratio because I wasn't someone that could do like those 200 person seminars and like have enough willpower to actually pay attention to those seminars. I'm not that person. I'm sure some people are and if that's what you're looking for, Bard does not have that. The largest Bard class is like 20 something people and that's 20 something people squished in the room because like the rooms here are not big. Um, we've had like seminar type things, but they're also like very compact because Bard, honestly, like the classrooms aren't built to hold like 200-ish people for a class. Um, what else did I want? Uh, oh, and I wanted a place not quite in the city because I've lived in cities all my life and I wanted to sort of remove myself from a lot of like different temptations like oh I'm not gonna study I'm gonna go out to eat or I want to watch a movie or I'm gonna go play at the arcade so I chose like a sort of more rural place so I'm gonna tell you about my first like sort of impressions after I got here so during my first year I'm a junior right now oh, one year left to go one year and one semester left to go I am not prepared for anything but here we go Oh, okay. Mental crisis later. Um, my first impressions. So, I first got to Bard about a month earlier than like all the returning students because first year students had to go through this thing called LNT, language and thinking. It was kind of like, I guess like we called it like a mini summer camp for all the first year students to get used to the Bard campus by taking this class that wasn't really a class, was like more trying to get you used to certain ways of writing and um, certain readings that you would have to do more and more at, at Bard. Bard is very interested in a lot of like reading. I mean, also I'm not a STEM major, so I can't talk for them. But yeah, there's a lot of reading in a lot of classes because you have to take um, L&T and you have to take this thing called first year seminar, which I'm not going to go into too much detail about because that's a whole nother thing. But um, yeah, my first impressions, there's a really large campus. I wasn't expecting the campus to be this big. and. It's big because like there's multiple areas. There's like a large stretch of land that Bard owns. So there's um, different dorms in different areas. So it, it seems like very elongated and far. I mean, it's it's not as big as some of like the big universities elsewhere, but because there's a lot of like wilderness and nature and forest around it makes it the campus seem larger than it is all okay, right when i first got here i was put into one of the largest first year storms called chicksbury 
and so there were a lot of first years there um i f i feel like i think it is like the largest first year dorm and so the first years we lived in doubles or triples and i was put in a triple and that was something that i wasn't um expecting it was just like all of a sudden like oh i'm in a triple okay why am i in a triple in college i didn't i just didn't think they were a thing to be honest there are a bunch of triples in bard and i like to think that like my first year experience was like positive i had really good roommates and um even though we were very different people we were like we had enough respect for each other to like you know get along well um shout out to my first year roommates <laughs> ah, miss y'all um my first impression of classes were that um they were kind of what i expected out of college classes but i did realize that a lot of it depended on who the professor was again like there's a good mix of professors that have a good mix of teaching styles and so there are professors that like are very laid back and you know are chill and all that and and there are professors that like no like this is like step one step two step three this is how my class goes and you're gonna follow it step by step or else i'm like i'll kick you out of this class so it honestly depends but bard is a place where like if you like ask around different um like if you if you're a first year and you ask the sophomores and the juniors hey what's a good professor for like this department what's a good professor for that uh, department um for your first semester of classes you don't really get a chance to interact with a lot of this like the more senior members of the college because you're in lnt and you choose your classes during that time period so you're choosing your classes before everyone else has arrived so but there are people on campus who are like in charge of your dorms and stuff who at, will like be willing to talk to you and help you like like they like no that professor is very harsh like that professor grades very like um harshly and if you're okay with that go for it but if not here's someone i recommend and that happens a lot here because it's a small enough campus that like everyone sort of knows a professor or knows of a professor to give you like a little bit of information about them to see if they suit your style um so the good of bard college the good is that um it's a really nice mix of teachers and different teaching styles so you can get a lot of different experiences at with like the teachers you choose even though maybe they're teaching very similar classes what you get out of the class is very different there are some really 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 good teachers here really like they've made me like subjects that i didn't think i would ever like so honestly ask around don't be scared to be like hey um you are a senior or a junior could you tell me about any professors in specific departments you would recommend because even though you think oh I'm, i don't want to take like a science class no someone might give you a really good science teacher and you're like oh my god my life has changed i've seen this happen to people so don't like um don't be so set upon your ideals without knowing the teacher first um another good bard is a place where there's a large mix of different personalities so if you're like a loner that's fine here there's because bard exists in sort of this own like bubble outside of regular society like because of its location and the general mix of its students if you want to sit alone when you're eating that is fine here no one's gonna really judge you for it it's a place that like because everyone has such different um styles and different like personalities that no one really bats an eye at anything anymore unless something like super crazy happened there are so many crazy stories at bar that i don't know if i'm allowed to tell because not a lot of them actually happened to me but moving on um the lnt program there's a lot of like mixed feelings about it it's the program where you show up like a month earlier than everyone else because you're a first year and all the first years do that and it's a time for you to bond with the other first years because ain't no one else there to bond with besides some like um juniors and sophomores who are there to help you around 
And so it really isn't a time to like get to know a lot of the first years. There are not that many students here. So it's really plausible for you to like either know everyone in your year or know of everyone in your year if that is something you wanted to do. And one last, like not the last, last good thing, but a, to my personal opinion, another really good thing is the fact that there's a lot of things to do here. There's a lot of things to get involved with. There's student government. There's plenty of different clubs. I'm like co-head of the K-pop dance club because that's something I wanted to do. We have a total of like, what, 13 members, but that's fine. And that's what we want to do. And so if you wanted to get involved in different aspects of campus life, of academic life, of like different fun stuff, there's a wide range of things you could do here and I think because um, it's hard to pick out a lot of similarities for bar people so everyone enjoys a certain different style different aesthetic so yeah there's just so many things you could do here even though we're at this campus sort of located in this place that's not really connected to the outside world in certain ways and now we're moving on to what I consider the bad, which is um, some of the dorms are old and gross. And I feel like that's probably a lot of different like colleges have this issue where a lot of the dorms were built way earlier. And so they're gross sort of because they're old and also they're gross in comparison to a lot of the newer places. There are places that barred with no air conditioning. There are places at Bard with like no kitchen. I mean, I'm saying places, I mean dorms. There are dorms with no air conditioning. There are dorms with no kitchen. There are dorms where the heating system is very, very broken. And I know, I know a lot of it is like expensive old buildings that are hard to fix. But honestly, sometimes trying to, for me, trying to survive like the first summer here for um for L and T without air conditioning was so like it took so much out of me because I am not good with heat and it like New York doesn't get like super hot but it still like gets hot and my dorm would get like really 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 hot for some reason and I was just dying there are people who had to move out of that dorm because they couldn't like stand the fact that there was no air conditioning and I feel also like when they put first years there, they don't tell you that there's no air conditioning. You have to find out yourself when you get there. And I feel like that's like not okay. There needs to be another thing. There needs to be a lot more like transparency here. There's a lot of things that like you sort of like happen upon and that's the way things are. And you're just like, why is that the way things are? That's so weird. Like, why can't you fix this? Or why can't you make this better in some way? And um, I know like a certain areas of the college is trying to like make areas better, make um, provide cooling centers for people who don't have air conditioning. But oh my God, at least inform people before, inform the first years, because it's mostly the first years who get here, get put in a dorm and they know nothing about the dorm. Yeah, that's how it happened. Once after that, when you choose your dorm, you like you research about the dorms. So you pick the specific dorm you want, depending on the lottery number. The whole system's really weird and complicated, and I don't have enough time to explain it. But yeah, that's a bad. Um, Bard is not liberal heaven. It's like a moment of silence. I entered college in 2016. And um, we all know what happened in 2016. And I thought, oh, this is a very liberal college. Hopefully there are not going to be any problematic like hate speeches and stuff here. No, that's not true. I, I wish it was true, but I don't feel like there's a perfect liberal like heaven anywhere. And I don't even know if that's a term or not, or I just made it up. But Bard is not like this like 
perfect little liberal bubble that a lot of people try to think and try to convince themselves it is. It's not, and we have to acknowledge the fact that no, there are plenty of Republican like students here. There are Republican teachers here. There are a lot of people with um, very different views and I thought than I expected at this college. In my first year, I had um, neighbors who would shout, um, lock her up, lock her up in their rooms and you could hear it from our room and it was like completely disturbing. And it was their freedom of speech. Like you can't be like, hey, no, 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 this is a liberal place, but no, this is a place that lets you um, have your own opinions and so it's not this sort of like liberal paradise that I know a lot of adults and even some like younger people are thinking it is. It's not. You have to get used to the fact that there are a lot of people with conflicting views from your own and that should be okay. You should be willing to have a conversation with them. But also if like anyone is being um, an ass, feel free to call them out. Feel free to get other people to call them out. Feel free to tell all your friends to call them out because BART is a place that like if someone does something like really bad because it's so small it spreads like wildfire so like all the girls are warning each other like hey no he be a douche don't don't go there girl and all that so that's another good point when we're talking about the bad but yeah it's not liberal heaven and don't expect any place to be liberal heaven um yeah, there's a whole it's in the middle of nowhere situation. It's in upstate, well, oh, there's a whole debate about whether we're actually upstate New York or not. But it's two hours away by train from New York City. So it's in a small town. To get to the supermarket, you kind of have to like take like a five hour bus ride. We have shuttles here that will take you like to the supermarket, to the small town, to another small town to like the bigger small town on weekends. But yeah, if you're someone who knows you enjoy the city life, this is not the place for you. If you're someone who um, likes to go out and party every weekend and like hit up clubs or like go to like diners every day and like eat out every day, this is not the place for you. Um, another bad, seasonal depression is so real here. Once it gets to winter, like, it feels like the whole world is just, like, like on fire, but, like, not in the good way. And honestly, like, sometimes it's so dark outside because it's winter and it's snow and it's snowing, but then it's also raining and it's slush. Honestly, like, wintertime is very hard here if you're, like, someone who likes sunshine and rainbows and all that. No. If you're someone who likes the cold and, like, feels at, at one with cold... You're gonna, you're gonna be fine here. It's not actually that cold once you like realize it's just like the coldness seeping out of your heart. But yeah, seasonal depression gets real here. And then uh, here are some things that are like, that are what you will make of it. So they're neither good or bad in my opinion. They're like how you see the situation. There are animals all over the place. If you walk at night, you will see deer. You will see skunks. In the morning, you'll see squirrels, chipmunks, and occasional stray cats that may or may not be stray. I don't know what the situation of the cats are, but yeah, they're legends. So if you like animals, yay for you. You're gonna spot a lot of wildlife in your time here. If you don't like animals, carry a flashlight with you when you walk at night because skunks are hard to see at night. Um, what you will make of it, the teachers. There are a lot of good teachers here in my opinion, and there are a lot of teachers that don't suit my learning style. Um, during the end of every semester, students will write a teacher evaluation, so there are no like really, really bad, gross teachers here. But honestly, it all depends on your learning style. Um, I might do like a special episode on teachers, but I also like want to do that after I graduate, so <laughs> I won't get in trouble with anyone. Um, and what you will make of it, the people. There are like a specific like group of people here that fit very well with what you imagine BARD to be and what you imagine the students who go to BARD to be. And there are students who don't fit in that. 
and that's fine. If you're someone who wants to like bond with a lot of people, who like likes forming like a lot of clicks, and who likes doing that, you could do that here if you wanted. It honestly isn't the best place because everyone kind of knows everyone, and so it's not really that clicky. I know there are actual clicks. I just don't have any experiences with them because that is something I stay away from. Um, it there are really nice people here. There are also some really not nice people here there's always going to be like the good people and the bad people and not bad like oh my god they killed someone no like that isn't like maybe they're like not someone who works well with me as a person or with you as a person and that's okay there's a lot of different personalities at bard and i mean it is what you will make of it you'll if you think you're not gonna find friends here that's also just an option to be a loner that's totally fine here but if you want friends you're probably gonna find friends i mean there's a lot of really friendly people here but so um i hope that was helpful to you in some way this went on for longer than i wanted it to this was gonna be like a 10 minute video but no um and so leave me comments questions like and subscribe if you like this video if you want me to do more rants on bard i'm like so happy to do that as long as i don't get myself in trouble because i know eventually one day i'm gonna like dig myself into a hole that i won't get out of but like we're just slowly like waiting for that day to burn us it hasn't happened yet but yeah um so yeah comment down on what if any questions you have i'll try to answer them if there's anything you think if you go to bard and there's anything you think i didn't talk about or like any disagreements you have with me feel free to write it down i might not reply to that but feel free to do that and until next time bye bye